this time I'll have a cappuccino. Oh, nice and strong cappuccino in the morning and chatting with you guys is the best thing right welcome to another video welcome to another section of ride with Raj well today I'm gonna talk about how to mount a GoPro in just five rupees yes literally five rupees on your off-roading helmet uh, trust me I have not bought any extra mounts or any 3m tapes or any adhesive and I think this is a good jugard especially for people who want a good view from the helmet so as you all know that this is the helmet which I'll be wearing for the ride and uh, the challenges which I was facing was the best setup for any motor vlogger is the chin mount all right according to me and according to a lot of motor vloggers who are already doing that so the chin mount was the best place to do it and yes I could mount it it was very easy to achieve that I could do a side mount here and put an extra angle here and get the best view okay now the issue with the chin mount okay is that this is the best location and I was not trying for any other areas except for the chin mount especially for the mic also but the biggest challenge for me is I am riding a Himalayan yes so people who are riding any off-roading bike or a touring bike which has visors coming up all the way till your chin or till your face uh, this is quite an obstruction this happened with me during my Jaipur ride also that uh, the visor was very much up front and I could not get a good road view and I could not mount it on the bike because the bike has vibrations and then it won't be good so the only option left with me was a top mount the side mount is also a very nice view at an angle point of view if you if you see your videos from the side view and a little bit of helmet showing it looks really really dope the only issue is that I don't get a complete panoramic eye view uh, from the side view because you know if it's on the right side and if the view is on the left I might miss that shot if the view is on the right and my camera is on the left I might miss that shot so these are few challenges which uh, happen usually uh, filmmakers and creators and vloggers will have all the mounts they'll have a chin mount they'll have a side mount and a top mount now I was thinking to put the 3M tape here and stick the GoPro which most of all the people do it so I wanted to create something more simpler more sturdier okay so my worry on putting the mount on top is always that it might fly off or you know it might obstruct the wind and it, the helmet might you know toss behind so these are few challenges which I face and I was like I need something very very sturdy so what I did was very simple I actually started studying this helmet pretty well and most of the off-roading helmets do have a setting of a screw here all right now I'll quickly show you what I have actually done so this is your final solution friends all right this screw is available in any hardware store it is the same size which is on any tripod yes you have to buy this for five rupees and your things are sorted trust me guys make sure you carry your tripod mount along with you to show the hardware guys so it's easier to fix now let me demonstrate what I've done okay so there are plenty of options you can even put a clip mount here you can even strap your wrist mount here there are plenty of options which I have done and are successful on this helmet but this was the most sturdiest option which I could feel this was more reliable and more strong which I'll show you all now okay so first thing you got to do is remove this uh, plastic screw which is given by default on mostly all the helmets remove the cap okay and you need to put this completely inside so that it's tight so you folks can see that uh, this is completely inside now and all you got to do is put this here take your mount spin it around voila it's complete yes folks now let's mount the camera and see how it works so below is a camera tripod mount which everyone has uh, the top is the extension which comes with the GoPro or the SJ cam now I'm just putting the camera in and putting the screw now I know you guys must be wondering that if the camera is so much behind this will be seen but trust me the extension decides that I have tilted the extension in front you can 
prop it more up if you want. The best part is when there is a screw below, I am more secure that this will not fly off. It's, this is much sturdy and it will keep the, it's so intact with the helmet that it will not have any vibrations also. Now let's start this camera and see the angles. If you notice in the camera, you can see the little bit of flap seen here, uh, the sun protection visor which is here. Obviously, if you don't want, you can adjust this and this becomes like a normal view angle which is perfect for scenery especially when we are doing Ladakh and such things because the top view will give all the feel of the mountains, the clouds and everything and I feel this will really work for me. This is how it sits on the helmet and as you guys can see it's completely adjustable you can make it if you want to reduce the height you can but i have kept an extension for emergency if i need a longer shot or a short range shot i can adjust that by the way the camera also has the ability of a wide lens uh, shooting or a narrow lens or a standard lens so we have all those options in the gopro or the sj cam which is available with me and i think this is the best thing uh, for me uh, you guys can see that how sturdy it is and it is completely fixed uh, in the helmet which I really like and that's the reason I thought this is the best Jugaad and uh, anybody who is uh, looking at this uh, will really enjoy especially if you're doing mountains especially if you're riding a bike such as Versus or a Tiger or a Himalayan such bikes which have visors popping all the way till your screen and your you know that thing is obstructing your shot I think this is the best angle for you. Uh, yes, you can definitely do the side angle, the, uh, the chin mount angle for stuff. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering how will I install the mic, but the best part is that the mic can jack from here, go all the way from here. Okay, so there is a vent here from where my camera pin can go inside and I can use it. And uh, the thing is that if it snows a lot, I will be not using the microphone because it will actually put moisture in my camera and it can bust my camera which I don't want to take a chance. So I'll mostly take shots which I am actually there for. And a very good setting and I think uh, if people are interested to do this 5 rupee uh, option which is the best because these mounts are always with us. It comes with the camera. So you don't have to worry. All you have to do is buy a screw, invest 5 rupees and there you go. You don't need to stick anything. You don't need to worry anything. You can even remove the camera off, keep the mount on so it's easier for you to access. Well, this was a quick video about my new setup done on the Steel Bird off-roading helmet and I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, please press the thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And as usual, eat well, sleep well, be good. Signing off, Ride with Raj.